Everybody knows about game day food, but where can you find prime rib? I'm going to show you. Let's go. a coach today you're you're like you're the belichick of the food department i coach all day and and i'm focused on the next play as it were and if we run this play right and we run the next play right you know and and that if something comes up we didn't get our our first we didn't get our long yards on first down i.e we had a little problem with glitch what are we doing now to adjust it so we get back on our drive you know it's amazing it's five hours before the game here we are and the energy of this place is it's just unbelievable i can't imagine what it's gonna be like two hours from now three hours from now uh, you know what? Here's you know the, kind of the flow of the game is we walk in the door nine hours before kickoff, right. and we start getting all the equipment going. Uh, we start uh, assembling some of the cold food, and it starts to go up slowly. Not many stadiums do what you do. I, th I think we're the only NFL stadium. I think that we have ownership that loves nicer things and loves to have those nicer things for their clientele. And we're lucky enough to have a, a, an unbelievable vice president of food and beverage who knows a lot and has opened a lot of stadiums. Uh, you know, hotel chefs among us and uh, and the experience to actually make things from scratch and, and organize and orchestrate so that all parties can be taken care of currently. Now you feed the players as well, obviously. What happens when a 300 pound lineman doesn't like something you made. Did you ever get a visit from like Will Clark? Yeah, 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 yeah. Does Vince ever come up here? What and I say, do is I always have some Davios on hand. <laughs> say if they're really mad, I give them a nice Davios cheesesteak roll. And, yeah. Yeah. No, no. You know what happens is uh, we have a nutritionist who who helps design the menus, and then we try to make it as yummy as much yum factor as possible. Uh, you have visiting teams we take care of when they come in, and we try the best to accommodate them like they would be in their home stadium. Like last week with Denver, uh, their nutritionist, our nutritionist got together, so we designed them a nice menu based on what we paid the guys, and uh, they, they got a nice letter from them. Even so. for the Jets, you have to help give them good food and stuff? You know what? Them? They're all my customers, right, right, right. and I want to treat them all really well. I'm at my seats. Can I just text you and you can send me a piece of that prime rib? If there's any left, Steve. Okay, thanks for a lot today. This was a lot of fun showing behind the scenes at Gillette Stadium. I think a lot of people have never seen or even believe the quality of food that you do here. I'm really excited to show everybody. At the end of the day, Steve, I don't even know we did. I can't believe we did it either. <laughs> Ten hey, times thanks. a year. Thanks a lot, man. Nice, really Steve. appreciate it. Well, Dave. Steve. Nice to see you, man. Nice to see yeah. you. So many people think, you know, at a stadium, it's hot dogs and beer. Sure. It, it, the, the customer's experience is so much more sophisticated these days. They expect far more than that. You know, we serve everything from hot dogs and soda to filet mignon and crab cakes. You think Jonathan will be upset if we have a little drink? Uh, I think he'll be all right. He'll be okay with that. He'll okay, be all right. Let's have a drink. All right, all right. please. Cheers, man. Great, cheers. Thank all right, thank you. Now, this is game food.